If a person plants a seed in the ground and puts a signboard beside the seed and says this seed is mango, the evidence will show when the seed grows. The signboard is not the evidence that what is in the ground is mango. A mango tree that produces mangoes is the evidence that what is in the ground is mango. Oh, I have gone to church for many years. That's not the evidence. Whether you are producing the fruit that represents the fact that the spirit of the living Christ is in you is what determines whether in truth and in deed you and I are in Christ. Hi there. This is Elvis, your host on this platform, The Breakthrough Nest. In case you are still to join this Breakthrough family, please kindly hit on the subscription button below and the notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified when a new video is uploaded. So why not stay tuned, relax, and enjoy the video. So the question we must ask ourselves first of all is what are the evidences? What are the proofs of authentic Christianity? If I truly belong to Jesus, what is the evidence? Number one is clear manifestations of the fruit of the Spirit as a new lifestyle. Clear manifestations. The Bible says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17, it said, if any man is in Christ, how many people? Any man. If any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away and behold, all things are become new. If any man is in Christ, he is a new creature. So any man that will actually claim to be in Christ, there must be something new about him. And the new template for that man in Christ is laid down to us in, in Galatians chapter 5 and verse 22. Look at what the Bible says. It said, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Every one of these nine fruits are gauges, gauges of the authenticity of our Christianity. Gauges, love, joy, peace, gentleness, long-suffering, meekness, temperance. Every one of these are simply gauges. So it means that I can check my life utilizing this gauge to see whether there is an authentic connection to a, being in Christ. If a person plants a seed in the ground and puts a signboard beside the seed and says this seed is mango, the evidence will show when the seed grows. The signboard is not the evidence that what is in the ground is mango. A mango tree that produces mangoes is the evidence that what is in the ground is mango. Oh, I have gone to church for many years. That's not the evidence. Whether you are producing the fruit that represents the fact that the spirit of the living Christ is in you is what determines whether in truth and in deed you and I are in Christ. Galatians chapter 4, beginning from verse 6 down to verse 8. Look at what the Bible tells us here. He said, and because you are sons, he said, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your heart. And when the spirit is sent into your heart, he must bring some fruits out of your life. Don't claim that the spirit of Christ is in you if the character of Christ is not manifested through you. You see, the truth is that the fruit of the spirit are simply the manifestations of the character of Christ. If his spirit is in you, his character will reflect through you. These are all practical demonstrations of the authenticity of our Christianity. If I am in Christ, question, am I walking in love? 
if I'm in Christ, am I peaceable or quarrelsome? If I am in Christ, do I manifest gentleness? If I am in Christ, do I demonstrate temperance? If I am in Christ, do I have endurance or long-suffering? These are all demonstrations of the authenticity of our Christianity. You find many people who come to church, claim that they are in Christ, and one little thing or cause or the other, and then they are out. The truth is this. If the, if the spirit of Christ is in a person, the character of like Christ will reflect through the person. And one of the demonstrations is temperance among others. So the truth is, if I am in Christ, the reflection of Christ should be showing through me. Take note of this. Believers in the Bible did not call themselves Christians. No. Those who observed them called them Christians because they were Christ-like. When they looked at them, what they saw in them was the reflection of Christ. The first example of this is when we look at the book of Acts chapter 4. The Bible says in verse 13, after they heard Peter and John, they took note of them, that these men had been with Christ. Christ was reflecting to them. And then we are later told that the believers were first called Christians in Antioch. Why? Every time they looked at them, it was evident that these men were reflections of Christ. These women were reflections of Christ. So, if a person is a believer, if Christ dwells in you, the evidence of Christ in you and in me is the reflection of his character. The reflection of his character. This is why the Bible tells us in the book of Colossians 1.27, it says, Christ in you, the hope of glory. So, if Christ is in you and in me, the glory of Christ, the reflection of who he is, we begin to shine through us. Shout hallelujah. I said shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. If you look at a light bulb, to the natural eyes, a light bulb is a glass or plastic thing. But if you look at the light bulb, the light is not actually the glass. The glass is only a container of the light. But what is inside the bulb, the filament inside it, is where the light is produced. And that light shines through the container. You see, if Christ is in us, we are supposed to be like light bulbs. The glass is you and me, but the light is Christ in us. From inside us, Christ should be shining forth. That's why the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, and verse 6, he said, God called light out of darkness has shined in your heart. He said, to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Now we have this treasure, this light in an earthen vessel. Like glass contains the light filament. So also our physical lives contain the spiritual life of Christ. So our physical lives will become reflections of the spiritual life of Christ through the character of Christ. So Christianity is not an emblem. Christianity is not an emblem. Just saying I belong to Jesus does not mean that Jesus take, has taken possession of you. What determines it is whether Jesus is having reflection through you. The possession of Christ will always be the reflection of Christ. If you and I are possessed by Jesus, then we will naturally reflect our Jesus. My prayer tonight is that from this time onward, our lives will become practical reflections of Christ. So we discover that our first proof is the manifestation of the fruit of the Spirit. The second proof is becoming a child of favor. When you become a a, a genuine believer, you are born of favor, so you are, you are to live in favor. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 8, the Bible tells us there clearly, Ephesians 2 and verse 8, it says, for by grace you are saved. What is grace? Favor. By grace you are saved. So we are children of favor. 
by redemption. We are born in favor and ordained to live in favor. And that's why if you look at our perfect example, Jesus Christ, the Bible called him full of grace and truth. John chapter 1 and verse 14. So we are born of favor to live in favor and to be full of favor. These are all evidences of the authenticity of our Christianity. When a man is in Christ, it will reflect the character of Christ. When that man is in Christ, it will reflect the favor of redemption. I pray tonight that the favor of redemption will begin to find practical expression in our lives. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the video. I also like you to know that there is no breakthrough without an action. In fact, there is no product without a process. So we admonish you, put those things to work and breakthrough will be evident in your life. And in case you have engaged some of the insights shared here on this platform and you have received breakthrough, please kindly share with us so that others can also benefit from it. If you enjoyed this episode, kindly hit on the subscription button below if you haven't done so and the notification bell and you shall be notified when a new video is uploaded. You can like and share with friends and loved ones. You can as well leave us a comment and we will be glad to continue the discussion on the comment section. Until we meet again, keep watching our videos and stay tuned for the next video. God bless you.